So, but I, I, it brings me to a question with this, with a, with a former champion like Daniel Jacobs. This kind of reminded me a little bit of uh, Mikey Garcia against Sandor and Martin. Um, and, and we saw Gary Russell not quite look himself. Keith Thurman's coming back. And, and my question is for these former champions, guys that were top guys, in your 30s, inactivity, some injuries, how much of it is, because I do think some of it is mental. I think some of these guys have made some good money yeah. and boxing's really fucking hard. And, yeah. you know, so, that, but, and, and that has to do with it. But also it's the physical. And so I'm just curious with each of those guys I named and Keith looked good a week or two ago. Um, if they did put their all into it, how much is physically left there? How much of these performances from Russell, uh, uh, Mikey, Daniel is they're paid, they're former champions now, and they're not putting 110% into camp. And how much of it is, even if they did, their bodies can't quite do what they used yeah. to do. And, and, I, and I'm just curious, I get the sense from all of those guys, they do at least have a little something more if, if they have that hunger and the lust for the sport still. Yeah. So I, I'm just, I'm always, I don't know. What do you yeah. think, Sean? Well, or Carl? I was yeah. going to say, and, it, and it's tough to, I guess it's tough to actually quantify it. Right. Because <laughs> like you said, it could be something where it's part mental and then you get to a certain point where then the mental and the physical blend and it's like, right. I think I can do this still, but then you can't physically or vice versa where you're like, I can physically do this, but then your mind's like, because do I really want that really was the case with Zab Judah yeah. for me, you know, was for the longest time people, you know, if Zab just puts it all together, if, if, a focus Zab, a focus Zab. And I would start noticing tour around after Kodo, really around Kodo and after Kodo, but it's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. You guys keep making it about if Zab's focused, if Zab gets a new trainer, at some point, the gifts go away if if you don't keep them sharp. I guess you know is what it looks like. Man, but. it's uh, it's it really has been a bit, been a blessing being me. Uh, a lot of what I have and what I've done is God given, and the other side of that is my dad really did kind of know if if I push this dude to his limits in training, he's gonna go into the ring and he's gonna be as vicious as he needs to be, and he's gonna fight as hard as he needs to fight with no question. And that kind of was my dad's thing. We, we swam, I, everybody's heard it. We swam, we ran in the mountains. We, you know, ran on the track. We, uh, we had altitude chamber taking us up to like 20,000 feet in the, in the altitude and all these different things to simulate. And all of that was for, for one night. <laughs> yeah. It was always just for one night. And but my and and but my dad knew if I did all this, then that one night I don't. He was trying to always prove something to me that you're that you're in shape and you can do everything that we train train you to do through the course of a fight. And then the other side of that was he he we had no question. We we always knew everything that we did to prepare for a fight, and it was ever there was never a question that we weren't prepared. A lot of these guys are don't have someone to push them to that limit. Um, I t first guy that came to mind, Shakir Stevens. Mm -hmm. um, he's a phenomenal athlete. Yeah. But if somebody's not pushing that everything to the limit, he's going to get into a point one. At some point, he's going to come to the point where he hasn't worked as hard as he needed to work. And so now where work means more than the talent, i.e. Daniel Jacobs, now you need to work harder because the talent's starting to decline or whatever the case may be, and you don't have it, and now you can't put it all together. You know what I mean? So, um, I again, like I, I just feel very blessed that um, my dad was able to really just have the mindset to push, and I had the mindset to not care. And then, um, honestly, man, once I started realizing that I cared, it was like, okay, um, how many more we got and uh, how long until I get there? Because I'm not going to let anybody see me slipping. And, you know, that that really was the reason why I, I was like, hey, um, as, a, after Terrence Crawford, I'm done. Because I knew that it was so many hard camps and it was so many hard fights fought and kind of the list goes on. I was like, you know, I'm... It, the money wasn't didn't change me and the lifestyle didn't change me, but I saw it starting to change me. And I was like, before I allow it to change me and everybody see that, hmm. that, it, that it's, uh, you know, that it's really preventing me from being all I can be. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me get the best that I can get out of myself. Because, it, because it did look like for the last fight of your career, it wasn't the physical. It yeah. was, you, it, you had enough of, yeah. of boxing. Yeah. Yeah. But with these guys, some of them physical gifts, 
they, they don't look quite the same as in their 20s. When you fought, I, I don't know if you think so too, but when he fought Buddy, the speed was, yeah, maybe maybe you, you were a little stronger, you know, making weight that long. You, you Maybe you're not mm -hmm. Bound, the man. bulky guy that fought Malinaji, but basically all the gifts were still there. Yeah. So, but. Except for his busted ass hips. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG. Ant with two T's. Let's do all it. Right, Let's here, do one. it again. Let's all right. Again. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck, like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.